Hey everyone, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia and I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School. Here for Teaching in Room 9, I teach uh, math for second graders, but everyone's always encouraged to join. Welcome back friends, it's so good to see you. I'm glad that you're able to join me here today and for us to be able to do some more math here together. I hope that you're having a good day and a good start to your school year, even though everything might feel a little bit strange. So you know, friends, that I like to start my lessons with something called the Mindful Minute. We practice these different mindfulness exercises to help us when we start feeling overwhelmed with some of those really big feelings, or if we need to recenter our body in order for us to learn our best. All right, so for our Mindful Minute exercise today, I just wanna focus on doing some mindful breathing and a little bit of stretching here together. Since we've been focusing on patterns, we did patterns all last week, we're gonna be focusing on patterns again this week. I thought because a pattern goes on and on, we could do some different kind of rolling type exercises. So we're gonna take some deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth, counting to three as we breathe in and out, and then we'll um, roll our shoulders and our necks just to help loosen up some of that tension you might be feeling, and hopefully you'll be centered and feeling more ready to learn when we're finished. All right, friends, so sit up nice and straight and tall in your chair. Try to loosen up those shoulders. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. in through your nose and out through your mouth again breathe in breathe breathe out breathe all right you're going to keep taking those deep breaths I'd like you to try to roll your neck in a circle. And you're gonna roll it nice and slow, trying to stretch out any of those muscles or uh, tension you might be feeling. Okay, so we're gonna go um, the way a clock would go clockwise. So roll your head nice and slow and roll it again. Now go the other way. Roll nice and slow. Still taking those deep breaths, friends. One more time, roll. All right, stretch to one side. Stretch to the other side. Get a center in your head again. One last deep breath in and out. All right, friends, how are we feeling? Did that help you to kind of loosen up some of those muscles and feel nice, focused, calm, and ready to learn? All right, so um, I want to start our lesson also by going over our learning objective or our goals for learning this week, which is, again, we put them in I can statements so that you are able to understand what you are gonna be able to know or do at the end of us learning here together. So this is the same learning objective that we had last week as well. I can look for and make patterns. So we talked about patterns all last week. We focused all of our lessons on geometric patterns. And again, we learned that that means shape patterns. So as you can kind of see behind me and as I kind of described to you last week, uh, we will be focusing this week on number patterns. So we will get into this chart here in just a second, um, but kind of, again, reminding us why it's important for us to want to be able to practice patterns, be good at patterns, be able to have that math eye and really look and see how patterns and shapes and numbers come together. It's very important and um, really like we were saying last week, it is sort of that lifeblood or that heart of all math. It really helps you develop and build those um, 
logic and critical thinking and problem solving skills, which we can then take on to all areas of math and other subjects as well. All right, so all that practice that we did last week on um, looking at shape patterns, we looked at growing and repeating, we're gonna be moving on to the number patterns, but all that practice that we did is going to help us when we start looking at all these different numbers. All right, and if you remember too from last week, I had written a song for us all about patterns. So we're actually gonna sing the exact same song this week. Hopefully by now it's starting to stick into your brain and helps you to really remember and be thinking and understanding patterns. But this week we are going to add on to our song from last week, including um, a whole nother section of the song all about number patterns. All right, are you guys ready to sing along with me at home? And remember, the tune is The Ants Go Marching. A pattern it goes on and on, hurrah, hurrah. A pattern it goes on and on, hurrah, hurrah. A pattern it goes on and on, it could be shapes or numbers too. When we solve the pattern rule, then we can extend, bum, bum, bum. A pattern can be growing or repeating. A pattern can be growing or repeating. A pattern can be growing where you add on more and more each time, or the pattern will repeat in all these ways. Bum, bum, bum. Number pattern that's repeating can increase. A number pattern that's repeating could decrease. A number pattern when you add or subtract the same each time is a repeating pattern that will go up or down. Bum, bum, bum. A number pattern that is growing can increase. A number pattern that is growing could decrease. A number pattern that is growing you'll add on more each time or you will subtract more each time. Bum, 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 bum. Yay! <laughs> nice job. I hope you guys are singing along with me at home with maybe some of the parts that you did remember. And so we'll keep singing that song this week, adding on all those parts about number patterns. I love that song. It always gets stuck in my head. So I'm hoping that it gets stuck in your brains as well so that it will help you when we're uh, thinking and looking at and making all sorts of different patterns. All right, friends. So I want to kind of draw your attention back now over here to our number patterns chart. We're gonna go through all these different examples here and we will touch base on some of this vocabulary that I actually just transferred over from my last chart uh, as well because it is important for us to really understand and know all these different math words. There's so many different vocabulary words in math specific to different content or different skills. So it's important for us to be able to understand those words so that we know um, and feel confident in how to solve the problem. All right, so you can see my uh, chart over here says number patterns. So we're just gonna start on this side over here. And you can see it says increasing repeating. So we already know a pattern can be growing or repeating. So it's the same thing with number patterns. They can either be growing or they can be repeating. So you can see up here repeating up here for both of these, one is increasing or going up, whereas the other one is decreasing and going down. And then down here, you can see these here are both growing. So they are getting bigger each time, increasing, or they are decreasing each time, so going down. All right, so looking at our increasing repeating on this side. So again, it is repeating, so it is going to be adding we're subtracting the same number each time, right? It's repeating. A pattern, it goes on and on, hurrah, hurrah. We already know the pattern goes on and on, and when it's repeating, it's going to be the same number each time. Can I get a me too at home? If you've maybe heard the word increasing before, what do you think that it means? You got it, friends. Increasing is getting bigger. We are increasing each time or adding on or getting bigger each time. So as you're kind of hearing me speak and uh, some of the things I'm saying, 
I mentioned the word adding. So we know that increasing repeating patterns will be adding the same number each time. Okay, and then also as we sort of practice this and really get um, very comfortable with number patterns and the ways that they increase and decrease, um, and as you start to get older, you'll also be able to do increasing and decreasing patterns with multiplication and division. But first we need to practice our addition and subtraction and get really confident and comfortable in those skills so that we can move on to uh, multiplication and division as well. And right when we are um, adding, you are putting two numbers together to figure out how many it is all together. And when you are subtracting, you are taking away each time. Got a lot of different math vocab words during all of this, so it's important for us to keep it straight. So since we are focusing on increasing repeating, you can see here the numbers three, six, nine, 12. And you can see, or maybe if you can't see, in the little uh, numbers right here, you are adding on each time. What do you guys think? If you're adding on each time and it's the same number and it goes three to six to nine to 12, how much are we adding each time? Yep, we are adding three each time, which is what it says up here, kind of teeny tiny. So if we add three, six, nine, 12, adding on three each time. Now that I know that that's our pattern rule, we can extend. So what would our next number be? Adding on three more to 12. You are so smart, friends. Our next number would be 15. Sorry, try to squish it on there so it stays. <laughs> so the next number in that uh, pattern would be 15. Then we're gonna kind of pop down to these numbers over here. We've got five, 10, 15, 20. What is our pattern rule? How many are we adding each time? Yep, you got it. We are adding on five each time. And I bet some of my friends at home knew that because they are so good at skip counting, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm also making a connection to when we learned about clocks and time, right? To find um, the minutes you start at 12 and you just skip count by fives. So it's the same here. Our pattern rule is we're adding on five each time. So 5, 10, 15, 20. What would come next? You got it. 25. All right, I'm trying to squish it on here. Now we're gonna come over to this side here, decreasing, repeating. So again, it's gonna be the same number each time. But increasing means getting bigger. So what do you guys think decreasing means? You got it, friends. Decreasing would be getting smaller each time. So on this side, increasing, we add. On this side, decreasing, we take away, we subtract. So let's look at our patterns here and see if we can figure out the pattern rules and then extend. All right, we've got 50, 43, 36, 27. How much are we subtracting or taking away each time? Nice job, friends you could tell that we are taking away seven each time, subtracting seven. So now that we know the pattern rule, we can extend 50, 43, 36, 27. What will come next? What's 27 take away or subtract seven? You're amazing friends. It is 20. Nice job. You guys are getting so good at this. And I can tell that your math brain is really starting to stretch and grow every time you challenge it and get better and better at being able to pick out these different patterns. All right, let's look at the one right underneath it here. It says 20, 18, 16, 14. What is our pattern rule? 
how many are we taking away or subtracting each time? Nice job, friends. We are taking away two each time. Maybe you're really good at skip counting by twos, so you are able to notice right away that we are going by twos, we're just going backwards instead of going forwards. So if we take away two, 20, 18, 16, 14, what is 14 take away or minus two? You got it, friends. 14 minus two is 12. You are some really amazing mathematicians. I am so impressed with all my friends. All right, now we're gonna come back down to this side over here. Increasing growing. So the top two were repeating. They were the same number each time. The bottom two are growing. So they're going to either get bigger or smaller each time. So let's take a look. Increasing, we know that means we are going to add. We're adding on each time. And it's gonna get bigger each time. So let's look at this one here. It says, Two, four, seven, eleven. What do you guys think? What's the pattern rule? How many are we adding on each time? Gonna give you some time to think. I think I heard a friend say it. Two, in order to get from two to four, you have to add on two. Then in order from for you to get from four to seven, you're going to add on three. So first it was two, then it was three. I'm noticing a pattern. Then to get from seven to 11, you have to add four. So first we added two, then we added three, then we added four. How many do you think we're going to add this time? I can't trick you friends, you are too smart. We are going to add on five this time because first we added two, then three, then four, then five. And then we can even extend on more to that by adding six. So if we added five to the last number here, which is 11, what is 11 plus five? You got it, friends. You are amazing. It is 16. Nice job. Right here on our pattern. Let's see if I can even challenge you even more. What if we went from 16? Now, if we added five the last time, how many are we going to add this time? You got it. Six. So what's 16 plus six? Let's figure it out together. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Nice job. You guys are so smart. I can tell you're really starting to get this. All right, let's look at the one underneath. It is 10, 15, 25, 40. What do you guys think? What is the pattern rule here? 10, 15, 25, 40. Are we getting a little stuck? Here's what I always do when I start to get stuck. I'm just going to take it apart little by little. It might feel overwhelming. Sometimes you see all these numbers in a row and you're thinking, ugh, how am I gonna figure this out? But just take it little by little, chunk by chunk, and then you start to see what that pattern rule is. So let's look at 10, in order to get from 10 to 15, how many do I need to add? You got it, I'm adding five. Now, to get from 15 to 25, how many do I add on this time? You got it, 10. So first, I added five, and then I added 10. Okay, let's see, 25, to get to 40. How many did I add on that time? Wow, I am impressed, friends. We added on 15. Okay, so the first time I added on five, then 10, 
then 15, how many do you think I should add on this time? What is our pattern rule so that now we can extend? I can't believe how amazing you guys are at this. If we wanted to add on to 40, we would add on 20, right? Because we added on five, then 10, then 15. We're going up by fives each time. So if I went five, then 10, then 15, I would add on 20 to 40, which would give me, what's 20 plus 40? You guys are awesome. 60, so now we have 60 in order to extend onto that. Then if we wanted to extend even further, since we added 20 there, then we would add 25 to 60, and that would give us 60, 70, 85. So that would be the next number in our pattern if we continue to extend. All right, so you see how in the increasing growing, it is increasing, getting bigger, or adding more and more each time. Sometimes it'll go up by one. Sometimes it'll go up by fives. Maybe it'll go up by a totally different number, but we know if it gets bigger and bigger each time, I know it is a growing, increasing pattern. Now let's look over at this side here. This is decreasing, so I know we'll be subtracting or taking away but it's still a growing pattern. So it's the numbers are going to grow in our pattern rule as the pattern decreases. That might sound a little bit confusing, but maybe it'll make a little bit more sense when we start to go through these together right now. All right, so I'm gonna look at my first pattern here, my number pattern. I went from 43 to 41 to 38, to 34. So I can tell it is a decreasing pattern because the numbers are getting smaller. So I'm subtracting each time. Now, let's take it apart again, chunk by chunk, just like how we had said. How many do you need to take away from 43 to get 41? You are so smart, friends. We took away two. Now, to get from 41 to 38, how many did I take away that time? Yep, you got it. We took away three that time. Okay, so the first time I took away two, then the second time I took away three. Let's keep going and see, because I think I might have figured out our pattern rule already. Now, to get from 38 to 34, how many do I need to take away? Wow, friends, you got it. We took away four that time. So first we took away two, then three, then four. All right, so what is our pattern rule? How am I decreasing or how many do I need to take away each time? You're awesome, friends. So first we took away two, then three, then four. I'm taking away one more each time. That's how it is growing, but decreasing. I hope that maybe you'll start to make more sense, but we'll continue to go through this together this week. So if it feels a little bit tricky still, that's totally fine. We'll work through it here together. And I know that you guys will be able to get it. So if I took away two, then three, then four, how many do I take away this time? Yep, I took away five, which gives me what number? What's 34 minus five? You are so smart, friends. I can tell you've been practicing your math facts and you are just doing amazing at being such a super strong mathematician. 34 minus five is? 29, so we're gonna put 29 right here. So we were able to extend that pattern. If we continued to extend, we would take away six the next time, which would give us 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. Nice job. 
All right, now let's look at this last one here and then we'll review some of this vocab here at the end. I've got 100, 90, 70, 40. What is my pattern rule? This is decreasing each time so we know we're subtracting or taking away. And we know it is growing, so the amount that I'm taking away each time is going to get bigger and bigger. So we're going to, again, take it apart piece by piece. And then once we notice how um, the rule is sort of uh, playing out, then we can see if we're right and figure out how to extend our pattern. So how do we get from 100 to 90? You got it take away 10. So we took away 10 to get from 100 to 90. Now, how many do I have to take away to get from 90 to 70? Yep, 20. Then to get from 70 to 40, how much do I need to take away? 30. Yep, you got it, friends. So if I took away 10, then 20, then 30, how many am I gonna take away this next time? Yep, 40. What's 40? Take away 40. How many do I have left? Yep, yeah, you got it. I have zero left. So our pattern will then end there. We cannot continue to extend on because it is zero. And then you see some of these vocabulary words at the uh, bottom here as well. So you can see geometric patterns or shape patterns. Number patterns are what we are focusing on here. We know they can be growing or repeating, extending the pattern on after we figure out what is the pattern rule. And then we talked about increasing and decreasing this week as well, along with how do you arrange your pattern? So how do you arrange your pattern um, in order to follow that pattern rule? All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed working through some of these number patterns together. Even if it feels a little bit tricky still, that's okay. I love being able to stretch my brain and try harder and new things. Thank you guys so much for uh, working so hard with me today. It was great to see you all here with me again. Have a good day. Bye. in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.